This lesson is part of my video course that teaches how to build event-driven Spring Boot microservices with Apache Kafka. For other lessons in this playlist, please check description of this lesson. In this lesson you will learn a little bit more about consumers, consumer groups and how they read data from Kafka Topic and its partitions. It is important to understand how this works because it will help you decide how many partitions to create in a topic and how many microservices you can start if you want to scale up your application. So let's assume that we have Kafka topic that is called product created events. We created this topic with three partitions. All messages in this Kafka topic will be stored in these three separate partitions. And to consume messages from this topic, we started one microservice that is called email notification microservice. And this microservice acts as Kafka consumer. When we have only one consumer microservice, then this consumer will read messages from all three partitions in a topic. Now, let's assume that there is a large load on our application and one instance of email notification microservice is not enough. We want to scale up our application and we want to start up one more instance of email notification microservice. What will happen now is Kafka will notice that we have two consumer applications running and it will reassign partitions among these two consumer applications. Now it is not one consumer application that reads from all three partitions. Now one instance of email notification microservice reads messages from one partition and another instance of email notification microservice reads data from two partitions. This process of automatic partition reassignment is called rebalancing. It happens very quickly, but while partitions are being reassigned, consumers stop consuming messages from the topic for a moment. And rebalancing takes place every time a new consumer joins consumer group and every time existing consumer leaves consumer group. For example, if we decide to scale up our application even more, and if we decide to start up one more email notification microservice, then partition rebalancing will automatically take place again and partitions will be reassigned again. And during this partition reassignment, Kafka is trying to make sure that each partition is consumed by one consumer in a group. Once rebalancing is complete, all consumers in the group will continue to consume messages from their assigned partitions in parallel. Now, let's assume that we want to scale up our application even further and we want to start up one more instance of email notification microservice. Unfortunately, this instance will sit idle. In Kafka, two consumers from the same consumer group cannot read messages from the same partition. And this is a very important moment to understand. You cannot start more consumers than the number of partitions you have in a topic. If your topic has only one partition, then you can start only one consumer microservice. If your topic has three partitions, then you can scale your application by starting three instances only. If you start more instances than you have the number of partitions in your Kafka topic, then those extra instances will sit idle. Now, when you start a new Kafka consumer application and it joins consumer group, this new Kafka consumer application starts sending signals to one of the brokers that is selected as a group coordinator. These signals, they are called heartbeats and they are sent at regular time intervals. This time interval can be configured, but the default value is three seconds. So while your Kafka consumer microservices are running, each of them will be sending heartbeat signals to Kafka broker, letting it know that I'm running and I can consume new messages. If one of these Kafka consumers stops, then it also stops sending heartbeat signals to Kafka broker. When Kafka broker notices that there are no heartbeats coming from consumer, it will remove this consumer from consumer group and it will initiate rebalancing. It will check how many consumers are running and how many partitions you have in Kafka topic. And it will reassign partitions, trying to make sure that each partition is read by one consumer. Remember that two consumers cannot read from the same partition. And when rebalancing completes, all consumers in the group will resume consuming messages from newly assigned partitions in parallel. All right, so let's continue and let's try how it works.